if you've seen Mark Percy or Ist Vogue, whatever, where he is titled I Feel Lost, I think he is. I just watched it myself. I kind of feel not completely the same. I just feel like I know what he's saying on some bits where he had so much motivation for some videos to do and so much just enthusiasm and everything to do those videos and I kind of know what he's talking about there because I always had so much enthusiasm to do videos like these but now it's to do other videos like gameplays even <laughs> any of my videos are turning into gameplays because I just find those easier to do than these all the time because it's easier to have a game telling you what to do and react into that than always having to suffer and say here I think they would care and stuff like that and they'll probably more care more about what newest game is on the wise and their numbers never were a thing for me either really I try not to pay attention to them because if I did I would be more depressed than I would yeah, I'm sometimes because some random videos get no views and other ones get 30 views. I don't understand the difference between it. So I haven't done a video like this in a while, I know that. Uh, I just wanted to say some things like I was going to make a video on the YouTube restrictions, but I also wanted to wait until more things came out on that. Like recently, you know, YouTube creators' Twitter page released this on post saying you got more of their things on it and they are aware of some of the issues with the restrictions where it blocks off LGBTQ plus people and some things it really shouldn't be blocking off because it's all yearning curve for some younger people who might need to see coming out videos and other stuff like that because they want to feel like they're part of a community and need to hear things like this from somewhere because they won't always get a sort of Yearning stuff from school since it's not always to wear school, it's just the F out and it wasn't to wear my school, I know that for sure. It said on that post but they're basically gonna look into it a bit more and try to get some things unbanned and I'd leave a link to it down below in order if you wanna check it out yourself. I really shouldn't have left that post they did on the main YouTube Twitter page which didn't really say much and just standing like oh what bullshit because the main basis of YouTube is they don't really talk to their creators or anything like the most bit of con uh, communication I get from them is tips on how to improve your video like stop it from shaking or something like that like, I don't want to know about that. I don't care about that I know if it's shaky because I would remember my hand being shaky from a concert or something I would know that what I care more about is actually talking to creators about if there's something they're doing wrong or if they need to sort something out or something like that. I remember time when my channel got blocked and everything was gone for like two weeks or so and I didn't really get much communication from that. Like the first email I got back from them was saying we denied your access back and then the second day after that I got you know, Three miles back, so we've actually unblocked your account or something like that. So make your mind up. I don't understand which one you want. Was I doing something wrong? Was I not? This is weird. I've kept wanting to do videos where you don't edit it, like vlogs like these where you don't edit it, and because it for some reason it just feels more intimate. I guess not really intimate, it's just a bit of a weird word for it. Uh, more honest maybe because it feels like you're not cutting off anything no restriction nothing like that uh, youtube drama <laughs> yeah editing for me has always just been cutting things down or making things look better with special effects or something like that. i'm probably forgetting something really obvious but those two main points of what editing has just been for me then i've still made it too young by waffling <laughs> When I tried to make a video on the restrictions one, I just waffled, even though I had no idea what I was really going on about. I was just saying how wrong it was. It kind of looks like I'm bold on this side, I'm not. It's just more hair on this side, but side fringe. Sometimes I feel quite useless when I'm talking to friends and, or I see them 
it's gonna get a bit trigger warning here on suicide but I tweet about things I want to themselves and I keep trying to message them sometimes to try and say things like hey I'm here and if you ever want to talk or just play games or something silly like that I keep feeling like because they don't reply to any of that or sometimes when I send too much and I feel like there's some things I want to take back like I didn't meet to her no friend that I had things with them and then they started being weird about it but and feeling guilty and stuff like that and felt like they needed to spend some time away from me or something like let me get over things and really I didn't need that if anything them avoiding me purposely like this is actually making me feel worse so that helps <laughs> and just other times when I'm feeling useless is when friends say they really want to go and I can't really stop them completely because they're in a whole other country of whole other island almost because it's across the seas. It would take me like two hours on plane to get over there. So even then it'd be too late if they didn't try anything. It hurts me so much because they could literally try and I wouldn't know. I remember a time when I thought a friend had done it and I kept checking news sites so many times because she wouldn't update her messages or send anything back and it just worried me so much. So I thought I had to feel stuff. I hate it so much that I can't really help properly. I don't know what it really is. I got into a job and really support my career. It's pretty much my job to help people and yet I can't even properly help them even though I keep trying to. Sometimes I send a message to say, yeah, but what else more can I say? What more can I do when them miles and miles away? I already felt like that was my job in the first place to look after them properly when to be a good friend that's sort of one of the things to do but now I actually will be getting a job in actually looking after people so now it's just irony really ironic as hell <laughs> I've got back to reading the Shadowhunters Mortal Instruments I'm on the third one now I was getting them from the URB but the URB kept taking too long to get them out so I just ended up getting the whole Set on books, people. Do they actually have quite a few collections? Quite cheap. Hashtag spawn. <laughs> no I we really wanted to get the old copies of the series as well, but it had all different covers for different books. But instead, I just got the new versions. So I couldn't find the cover versions anywhere. I've got the first one, but I've got the others of the cover versions. So I've got like two of the first books now, but one for the cover version of the one that's been more updated that were the newest covers and all I haven't even done one where my hair's been chopped off a bit sort of I just made a bit of, not really a change but just a hair cut so I wouldn't have to always put my hair in ponytails because every time I go to interviews and meetings or whatever I would always be told my, my mum and people there but it would be better to have your hair in a ponytail because it was down to here or something so you're supposed to wear in a ponytail but now if it's say it doesn't really matter that's all I wanted to cut it for no, I did just cut it when my mum was like what the hell I have to straighten it for you now I get all, all the white yam fat back and I was like fine do that I don't really care that's what I was going to ask you to do in the first place anyway since I can't see the back of my own head and all I hope this has been something for you, I don't know if it's what you're doing.